right, guys, it's me, Ursula C. And uh, you know what time it is. I'm going to go ahead and do the Hearing from God 365 daily devotions each morning, each evening, each midday, pretty much whenever. Um, again, this is just something to keep the day going to, or to keep you going during the day and to also give us uh, some inspiration. Also, you know, I think that we should all read the Bible at least, you know, set some time for God each day, a quick prayer, you know, reading some scriptures. And even though I think I should do a little bit more than this, this is a start. I'm really trying to strengthen my relationship in the Lord. So I'm just doing things a little different. I'm still human, y'all. I still, you know, act a fool sometimes. But I feel like if I do these videos, that it's not only helping you guys. It's not just for you guys to see. It's also actually for me to see and hear. And actually, I have looked at some of the videos that I've already done, especially for January. And let me tell you, I have some stuff going on in my life right now. And those videos have helped me and when you're doing these videos you're reading this stuff and sometimes you don't comprehend and sometimes before sometimes after I go back and I read this stuff and then you know you do it for that time but then I reference back to these videos as I'm going through stuff and I'm like oh my gosh there's the answer right there this is what I need to do so even we can hear the same Bible scripture over and over in church you know we can go to somebody else's church and they might be preaching something from the same verse but when it applies to you in your life and what you're doing it just makes all the difference and that's why I do this because and also why I think this is a great book because it's every day giving you little tidbits to help you through the day and that's kind of also another reason why I don't post these every day because this can be a bit too much and it's a bit much to me but it's also first of all you, sh you guys if you have the book or you have a Bible or whatever you should be doing this on your own and then secondly, like I said, yes, it does help me. But by doing this, it's not only doing it for you guys. I can see it. It's just whatever. And I think I'm just losing track of what I'm saying. But anyway, it's February 2nd. And it is very cold. As you can see, you got my long sleeve, my, my cowboys. Now, I know they're not going to the Super Bowl. But honestly, guys, I mean, come on. You know, I think I've told y'all before I live in Texas. And so, yeah. And I'm excited because... I don't have to work tonight. Now, I know we need our money in life and we got to go to work. But, you know, uh, due to the bad weather conditions, and it's really not bad weather. It's just freaking cold. <laughs> Everybody's trying to conserve energy and all that kind of stuff. So, anyway, I decided since I'm up, I worked last night, but I'm up and I know I probably look a mess to you guys, but I'm up, so I might as well do this one for February 2nd and possibly even post it. And that's it. So let's just get into it and see and see what's going on for today. So I'm reading from February 2nd, and like I said, guys, don't be afraid to comment, post things, anything like that. Because you never know, I might give you a shout out. Which, I'm going to talk about that on another video about shout outs and things. But yesterday I did give one to, I think it's Bright Night 0202. See, I'm giving her another shout out. I'm helping the sister out here. Because I do believe in uh, that YouTube, or at least my understanding of it, is a knowledge of information. And what I can't give to you, maybe somebody else can. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I'm getting carried away. I'm just excited because I don't got to go to work. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Okay. February 2nd, moving right along, says, or uh, it's from Psalms 34, verse 14, and it says, Seek, inquire, for, and crave peace and pursue. Go after it. I teach a lot of fault, I'm sorry, I teach a lot about following peace as we follow God. But I want to make sure you understand that there is such a thing as false peace, and we need to, we need to be aware of it. For example, when we have a strong desire to do something, it can produce a false sense of peace that actually comes only from our emotions. At time, as time passes, this false peace disappears and God's true will emerges. For this reason, we should never move too quickly to make important decisions. A little time of waiting is always wise and prudent. Here's an example. 
Someone Dave and I loved very much was in need, and we wanted to meet the need. Doing so would have given that individual great joy and fulfilled a long-held desire for that person. I got excited and went to Dave, who agreed we should help. We proceeded with our plan, but the further we went with it, the less peace I felt. This created a problem because we had committed to help and I didn't want to break my word. I didn't mind saying I had made a mistake, but I didn't want to disappoint the person who was counting on us. A few weeks passed and I kept praying about the situation. Eventually, I lost my peace to the point that I went to the person and said, something is not right about our plan. I have absolutely no peace about it. To my great relief, the other person felt the same way. I had allowed my excitement over this plan to create a false sense of peace that dissip dissipated over time. God's word for you today, my viewers, is don't make serious decisions without waiting to make sure true peace abides within you. And at first I wasn't going to come to you guys with this, but you know, and I don't even know how many of you are going to relate to this, but I, again, am not trying to be judgmental, but I am human. And um, this just kind of brought to mind a reality show that I love to watch, and it's called The Atlanta Housewives. And if you have not watched them, you need to go back to the very first season. The stuff is good. They be snapping their fingers off of the his hook, okay? Um, but on The Atlanta Housewives, their season finale was Sunday, and one of the ladies on there got married. Beautiful lady, everything like that. And as the season progressed, the person that she was going to marry, things just happened and this, that, or the other. But in the last episode, she was supposed to marry this guy, which, in fact, she did marry him. But it just became this thing of, should I marry him? Am I doing the right thing? And a lot of it might have been fear, but if you watch back in the show or seeing how people talk about him and all this stuff, it makes you wonder, like, should y'all have really gotten married? If you have no money in your bank, you about to throw like a million dollar wedding? And I'm really getting off subject, but the reason why it reminded me is because we do a lot of impulse as humans. We, that's our life, that's our society. I always say that, and I am guilty of that too. Uh, that's why I pray to the Lord about patience, because honestly, guys, my patience is like, and you don't even go back. It won't even snap back to make the Z. I have no patience. I, or very little anyway. And I'm working on that. So God please help, help us out. I know you will. But this just makes me think about. You know. You got to pray about things. And when you find peace you know. And some things do come to us fairly quickly. And it's just like bam. I know I feel it. You know, ladies, how you go out for that pair of shoes and you're and you like, oh, it's, it's kind of like if you doubt something, then don't do it until you find peace where there's absolutely 100% no doubt. Um, there's a difference between being nervous about something and or because of things that have happened. But I do think that people, for instance, in this case, it was marriage, you know, maybe people are excited about marriage. Maybe people feel like they have to get married. Maybe people feel like this is my opportunity to do it maybe it won't happen again I have no idea but get married because you love the person not because all this other stuff um, that's with you know buying a vehicle I like this vehicle but I know I can't afford the monthly payments so why are you doing it like a lot of stuff is a uh, it's common sense and that's why God gives us common sense he doesn't want us to be fools you know he wants us to be wise and this is I don't know for some reason this just reminded me of the Atlanta housewives and you know I just feel like you really have to have peace until you have 100% peace in, in your soul, especially when you're talking about things like marriage and babies and careers, you know, like the big things in life. You don't just go out on a whim, you know. Sometimes you do because you have to take a leap of faith. But, I mean, like I said, I don't think God wants us to be fools. He wants us to be um, wise and make wise choices. And, yes, take chances on him. And I pray that her marriage works out. I really do because she's a really beautiful girl. She um, has had issues with marriage and stuff like that. And I really, really hope it works out for them. But 
maybe no one's ever told her, hey, you got to be 100% sure. Maybe you should rethink this thing. I mean, if you don't have money in the bank to get married, my God, like they suggested on the show, go to the justice of the peace. I mean, seriously. And I'm sounds like I'm doing a, a show review or rating it. But this just reminded me of the housewives and how, you know, you have so many clues. There's so many things around you. And when we're making decisions, we really need to have it in our heart that these decisions are right for us. You know, when I bought my vehicle, I didn't necessarily have to buy a vehicle, but it just kept coming up. I think I need to get a vehicle. I think I need to get a vehicle. And I was researching and researching. I was kind of getting like, I'm not going to do it. Just forget it. And then I saw this car and I looked at it and it was a picture online and I said, that's my car. And do you know, by the grace of God and thank God, I went to that dealership and when I I probably got there 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't leave till 11 o'clock at night, but when I left, I had that car. And it's because you felt peace. I instantly knew. Sometimes you are going to know things, and sometimes you aren't. But wait till you find that peace within you. Don't jump into something. And again, going into this new year, this, to me, like I said, January is the beginning. But once February hits, we're in the year. And that's something to think about and carry with you for the rest of this year. If something just doesn't feel right, Go the opposite way. Or if you're really unsure, like it's something you really want to do, but you're still kind of iffy about it, pray to the Lord about it and see what see what he will um, bring to you. See what kind of message he will give to you. Because he will. And sometimes he won't. Because sometimes the Lord, well, he already knows our plans and he sets everything up. And he, he wants us to make our own choices because he already knows what's going to happen. And basically everything is for a reason or it has its planned plan okay so I've rambled a little bit too much on this but again this was called the real thing and you have to wait on the real thing the real love the real life real friends <laughs> feel it in your heart guys because if you don't feel it there you don't feel it in your heart your soul you know is not of God why do it because it's gonna end in disaster or it's not gonna end too good or you gonna end up praying a lot harder <laughs> then you need to uh, when a lot of things in life are a lot easier than, uh, than than we make it out to be. But anyway, find peace within yourself, guys, and with your decisions today, through the rest of this week, through the rest of this month, through the rest of this year. All right? And you guys take care. God bless. If you're in the cold weather conditions, be careful out there, especially up in Chicago and those other areas. Be careful. Um... I'm hearing that the weather's pretty bad. I'm in Texas. We're complaining about 19 degree weather, even though it feels like four degrees. But I mean, I'm just saying, hey, I mean, believe me, you people up north, when y'all come down here for the summer, you know, you guys uh, can't stand it. So don't laugh at us because we all like, oh my God, what do we do? <laughs> but anyway, it's been a pleasure talking to you guys and coming to you guys with this. This has been really fun. Like I said, maybe it's because I don't got to go to work rambling too much anyway as usual guys uh subscribe comment let me know what's up and you don't even really have to subscribe but just you know it makes it a little bit easier you know for you to find the videos but if you want to continue to follow me just do that just do that and always you can leave a comment or video response all right guys until next time god bless and like i said be safe and have a wonderful tuesday Take care. Bye-bye.